a game dev secret about programming. There's an extremely common mistake I see in a lot of beginner code, and to demonstrate it, let's say I wanted to give my corrupted ush root a little jump. So we put together an animation for it, and then we have to actually write the code. First, we'll need a jump function that we can call to change his velocity, and for now, let's just give him a jump force of, say, 200. But the issue now is that there's no gravity, so he's just gonna fly away. So let's add it. Every frame will subtract 12 from his vertical velocity, so that his jump will slow down and he'll eventually start falling, like how gravity works. And this code might seem totally fine, but we've just introduced a huge problem to our code base called magic numbers. Whenever you see a number by itself, like this 12 or 200, that's a magic number, and you want to avoid those at all costs for two major reasons. The first is that it makes changing things really annoying. Imagine if we had to reference gravity in like five different places. If we wanted to change gravity's value from 12 to 11, we'd have to go find and replace every single 12 in the code. It's super error prone, and it's also just a big hassle. But the bigger problem is that magic numbers will make reading your code completely impossible. For example, here's a code snippet from Isidora's Edge where I changed the variables into magic numbers. Do you have any idea what this is calculating? Even if I told you this was part of the calculate gravity function, you still don't know what the 0.9 is supposed to represent. So the more magic numbers you leave throughout your code, the harder it becomes for you to understand what your code is even doing. And solving the problem is extremely easy. Just use variables instead of magic numbers. Instead of subtracting by 12 every frame, we create a variable called gravity and subtract that instead. Now there's no magic number sitting there all by itself. And here's that code from earlier with the magic numbers replaced by variables. You see how much easier it is to understand now? 